everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought i would do my june manga haul and also a little bit of a kawaii haul um you guys know i love cute things and if you follow me on like tiktok you might have seen these already but if you don't then you're in for a treat because we got some cute stuff and i do have one item in here that i do um that i haven't even opened yet so yeah anyways let's get started i'll start off with my manga um haul so this is all that i got from the month of june i told myself since last month i literally like went crazy on buying mangas i told myself that i can't buy any until i read them all but who am i if i literally don't buy any right so anyways i did limit myself to a few this month so let's start off with um this one so you guys know this is something i started a few months back and i really really enjoyed it so this is the white cat's revenge as plotted from the dragon king's lap this is volume three it came out i think the end of may so it was in my hands the first week of june and i was able to read it and i really really love where this manga or the story is going um it's not too what's it called they don't drag the story i feel like and they don't rush it as well which i enjoy i really love the humor in this um so it is about ruri and she has this thing that turns her into a cat and that's kind of how she goes about um her day with king jade and things like that it's just really cute um there's a war happening in the kingdoms that they're at so they're trying to sort that out and yeah i just really really enjoy this volume i don't know when volume four is coming out but I can't wait because I want to know what happens next. All right, next I have here, I want to eat your pancreas. I actually got the light novel version, which I am giving away to you guys. Um, I will have the giveaway winner posted right here on the screen. So congratulations. Thank you so much for entering the giveaway and for the love and support on my channels. Um, and yeah, so anyways, I gave away the light novel version because I was able to find the manga version. And to me, I love the manga version more because I am more of a visual person. So I literally read this in like a few hours. It's so, it's so good. Um, so it is about a girl who is sick with a cancer, pancreatic disease, and her classmate found out that she was sick and he was the only one that knows aside from her family so they learn so much about each other and how they're like the total opposites of each other as well and it's just so good you guys like i don't want to say romantic but it's really like true friendship and i literally bawled my eyes out so <laughs> um if you want like you know a tearjerker definitely check this out it's really really good aside from that um it's a really just good story overall people did tell me there's an anime adaptation of this so i'm definitely gonna go check that out because this i, I love this so much okay next i have miroku chan i have volume one and two volume three was supposed to come out when the white cat's revenge um volume came out but it's delayed so i don't have it yet which really makes me sad because this is so 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 good by the way my son's here i don't know if i said that already so if you hear noises that's that's that so anyways really love this it is about a girl who sees ghosts monsters things like that and oh my gosh it is the graphics in this is honestly so scary not scared well actually i shouldn't say scary because i reading this and like seeing the pictures is not scary i feel like it's more the eerie is the right word it's creepy um very graphic um pretty dark it's so good though like she sees them she's the only one who sees them there's another girl in here that kind of sees ghosts but not like as she does it's insane how many things she sees in the day and her best friend attracts them which makes it even worse for her and that 
the thing is, is she tries to ignore them or she totally completely ignores them so it's just like oh my gosh what a poor girl because she's trying to hide all these emotions um like on a day-to-day -day basis you know um but yeah this is so good if you want more so of a thriller something dark creepy definitely check this out i can't wait to get volume three next i have not read these yet but i heard pretty good things about it that's why i was like all right i'm gonna get it so this one is called the tale of the outcast i don't know much about it to be honest i literally saw the cover and i'm like I need it so this is volume one I don't know if there's any other volumes other than this but this was the only one at the Barnes and Nobles that I went to um, but I'm excited about it so it says an uncanny encounter this is the story of Wisteria an orphan girl lost in darkness and Marbus an immortal being who shares her loneliness the unlikely companions meet on a quiet uneventful night and they set off together in search of the light. What begins as a chance meeting on the edge of the late 19th century British Empire soon becomes a full-fledged journey to find their place in the world. So this just looks really good. You guys know me. I like my monsters, things like that. Also the artwork looks so pretty. So I really think this is something that's like right up my alley. So I'm pretty excited about it. Next is a sign of affection. I was recommended this so many times and it's Instagram and I've seen it all over the place as well so I was like all right let me go get it thankfully the Barnes and Noble that I went to had one and two they were they, they they were just stocking up the number one it wasn't even on the shelf it was like on the cart that's about to go on the shelf and I'm like thank you very much um anyways this is volume one and this one's two. Oh my goodness such beautiful covers I'm excited the artwork on this looks stunning it reminds me of clamp in a way um anyways i don't know much about this aside that i mean it's got to be a romance right so let's read it together a chance meeting on a train leads to a serious crush but can it grow into something more yukihi's always been deaf is used to communicating with sign language and her phone but she's not used to english so when a tourist from overseas asks for directions she nearly panics until a handsome stranger steps in to help his name is itsumi I think I said that correctly. And it turns out he's a friend of a friend. A charismatic globetrotter, Itsumi speaks three languages, but he's never had a deaf friend. The two feel drawn to each other and plan a date on a romantic winter's night, but Yuki's friend is afraid that she might be setting herself up to get hurt. Could this be something real or will these feelings melt away in the snow? I mean, this sounds so cute, just romantic, and I can't wait to dive into it also this is like a bigger manga i don't know if you guys can tell it's a bit taller and just overall bigger okay so that is it for my manga haul now on to cute stuff everything will be linked down below by the way so again if you follow me on tiktok you would have seen these already let me start off with my switch case i showed this in my vlog but i didn't open it in my vlog because i'm like do a tiktok so this is the sailor moon switch case it's hard i really like this it's actually literally the same size as the thin case that i got that's um i think it's like the animal crossing themed one i like this so much more it's actually it, is, it just feels like it's really going to protect my case because it is a hard case so you have the sailor moon on that side and then on this side you have this and the inside of this is pink which i am just in love with so you have this netting here you can put your charger or whatever and then your games here or any cards and then your switch goes over here and this is like just all pink and this is so soft oh my gosh i love it so much definitely worth the splurge um yeah so i spent 30 dollars on this and then on prime day it was 23 dollars, and i was just like why well, Amazon? So, anyways, that's an update on this case. I do really like it, and I highly recommend it. Um, it's just so soft on the inside. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, speaking of switch, this one. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy about this case. So it is a silicone case. So it's like that rubbery feel. Um, it's really easy to get on and off as well. Um, I did get a question if it docks on your dock. 
Um, it doesn't. None of my cases do. Even when they say that they do, it, it doesn't. It doesn't fit in there comfortably. I feel like I'm going to scratch my screen. So I always just take this part off and then put it in the dock and call it a day. Like it's to me, it's not a big deal. Like it's, it takes like three seconds, maybe two to take it off. So anyways, this is the case that I got is Demon Slayer and I am obsessed. It took about two weeks to get to me. I ordered mine on Amazon. Um, I will have it linked down below. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still available, but last time I checked it was before I put it on TikTok, but it's super popular in TikTok. I think this is, this has the most views on my TikTok account. It's insane. I mean, it is super cute. I also got thumb grips. Um, so those ones are, I think, I think they're prime. So those took just like a day or two to get to me. Um, but yeah, the case took about two weeks to get to me. So that is that. I love this case so much. I really like how it bulges out right here to, you know, go on your hands. It's just really nice and comfortable. So love it so much. Okay, next I have here No Face. I did an unboxing with this with Liam. It is a puzzle like that. You can see the pieces in the back. So this front is one piece and then... Behind it, it's all little pieces. Want it? Careful, okay? <laughs> okay, next I have these cute little guys. Um, I actually really wanted this. I ordered that, but it's not here yet. I think it says um, coming in July 15th or something like that. But since I bought that, I saw these and these were on sale and they're just so cute. So I'm planning on putting this on my purse. But it's just a cute little keychain and then I got this stuffy as well. This one is super cute. She's probably going to go in my car, but she's been hanging here in my office. Just super cute. Oh my gosh, I love them. You guys know I love the color pink and just the brown looks so good together. She reminds me of Maple from Animal Crossing. Okay, last but not the least is a Ben Presto anime figure. This is the Sailor Moon, um, Super Sailor Moon from the Eternal, yeah, Eternal the movie. I pre-ordered the one where she's holding the wand last January, but it's not here and it won't be here till August. So that's, I think, the actual movie one. I don't know, but this one was on Amazon already. Yeah, it says 25th anniversary, eternal, the, the movie. So, this is the one where she's like, peace. Super cute. I might get chibi. I don't know. I've, I've just had, I've just been collecting just Sailor Moon. So, I feel like if I get chibi, then I would have to get all the other sailors. And oh my gosh, that's a lot. And I don't know where they would go. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy I got her. On Amazon um, I think she was about $28 I'm not sure but I mean I all my band presto um, anime figures were around that price so that's that oh and this is version a and I will actually do an unboxing on this one over on my TikTok. that's why I'm not opening it but you can see a peak of chibi right there as well and here is the figure I mean, she is adorable, right? I am so excited about this. She's going to look so good on my shelf. Um, but yeah, that is it. That wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here and for all the love and support really here on my channel and on my videos. I'm so glad you guys have been enjoying all the vlogs. Um, I do have one coming up this Thursday that's going to be something super fun and exciting. Um, I'm trying something new in that one. And yeah. Anyways, that is it. Thank you again for watching and I will see you on Thursday. Bye!